Good morning, folks. Welcome back to the Unger's epic road trip. Last couple days in Albuquerque has been really fun. Got to hang out with my brother, Kelly Baber, for a little bit. Hung out with his kids. My kids hung out with his kids. Played games. We just had a ball. And uh, we didn't really film much because we were just chilling and having fun. But today is Sunday and we're getting ready to head out to Amarillo, Texas. And then after that we're heading to Tulsa, Oklahoma to see my brother for a couple days before we head down to Florida. So yeah, that's just the plans. We're getting ready to sign out from Albuquerque, New Mexico. It's been really fun, been really great. We had a great time. One last shot of the mountains before we go. We had the collection again. New Mexico. This is Russell's car museum. We're getting ready to go in and check it out and see what it's all about. You ready to go look at some cars? Yeah. Some cool cars? At the museum. At the museum, that's right. You want to go to the museum? No. Oh, you want to go to the museum? Look at some cool cars, Mommy. Yeah. You going to show us the cool cars? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go guys, let's go look at the classic car. Yeah, that's an old school gumball machine right there, bud. Man. What is up there? It's a it's a gumball machine just like you think it is. Let's go down here and look at everything, bud. Uh oh.
fam got slush puppies on some old school but uh yeah that was a very nice museum russell's truck stop car museum i'm not mad at it at all very nice very good collection now we are getting ready to head to cadillac ranch y'all uh, bucket list thing for me i know i've heard things that it's not very much there but it's one of the things you just got to see. Happy with her slushy. <laughs> okay. You happy with your slushy? <laughs> there you go. Big girl. Big girl. Five minutes later. This is the result of Ari having a slushie in her car seat while she's riding down the road. It was all over herself, all over her chair, and it's all over the couch. Thanks, Ari. Now leaving New Mexico. Texas State Line. Bucket list, Cadillac Ranch, we here. Well, folks, that's Cadillac Ranch. That's what it looks like. Now we're off to Amarillo. Stay the night. And we're going to see if Pop Pop's going to eat the 72 ounce steak so he can get it for free. Yeah. <laughs>
Pop, you think you can handle it? No, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> you got to eat everything, though, man. You know, you In order to get it free, you got to eat it all, right? Everything, yeah, the sides. So, yeah, that's not going to happen. We're just going to go to the Big Texan because it's a big touristy restaurant in Amarillo. And, you know, when you're a tourist, you do touristy things just to say you did it. So, either way, we'll check back in once we get to the RV camp. Alright guys, we just arrived at the Big Texan RV Ranch. It's like 7.30 p.m. Around 8 o'clock, we're getting ready to get picked up by some type of tram or something. It's going to take us over to the Big Texan restaurant. It's supposed to be like a big touristy spot where if you can eat a 72 ounce steak in an hour, you get it free. Either way, my parents have ate there before. We have not ate there, so we're getting ready to head there and check that out. Coming through the RV park. Yeah. <laughs> on, on the way back with the van, oh. we do all the pickups in the van. Uh huh. Uh, and then in, in the evening, the limos will take you back. Right. If, well, if that I'm is really fancy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's you like bad. this van. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. It's a nice van. Now, huh? He would have much nicer, fancy. steak? I, I don't know if I can do the 72 ounce. I'm just asking the steak period. I mean I might. You sit right up here in front of everybody. Oh, oh, oh you sit up at the table up there? Yeah, Nobody's taking the challenge right now. Not, not right now. Mom you gonna take the challenge? Yeah. You gonna eat a steak? If we can eat a steak as a family. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they have a 72 ounce steak here and if you eat it in one hour you get it for free. <laughs> this is the table you sit at if you're taking the challenge and they count down 60 minutes right here. You said you're gonna take the challenge if you can do it in private. If I can do it in private, without a big clock behind you, without an elevated table, everybody looking at you. Yeah. They just gonna be up there like this. She ain't, she can't do it, ain't no way. How's that tea? Oh, Sweet. it's peachy. <laughs> One of my sides is tomatoes with garlic and onions. I got you on camera looking crazy. <laughs> I like this hat. You like it? Right. <laughs> oh, what is that? Might be an eight ounce. Oh, you ready to dig in? Instead of the seventy-two ounce. Weak. Mom, what? Mom, what you get? Steak? Yeah. You and Pops got the same thing? Yes, we did. I like that. You like them chicken nuggets? Yeah. All right. Blue cowboy. I'm a blue cowboy. I'm a white cowboy. That's a red cowgirl right there. You're the blue cowboy. No. All right. 
Uh, how was your steak? Like yours? Yours is good. How was your food? Tasty. Tasty. All right. And my shrimp was just cool. I mean, it's a steakhouse with shrimp. It is what it is. But the sides were delicious. I like the pickles, and I like the coleslaw, and I like these tomatoes and onions with garlic on it. They brought me. That was really good. So yeah, we out of here, big text. Right when we're rolling out, it looks like they're setting up for somebody to do the challenge. But we can't stay for it. So whoever it is, good luck to you. What do you guys think? This guy gonna get it or not? Probably not, right? The odds are against him? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're leaving the big Texan. Front door limo service. Good, how are you? Very good. Did you have a good dinner? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. I like the service back and forth to the park. Oh, oh, yeah, to the RV park. RV park mm -hmm. Picking y'all up in the limo. Actually, y'all got picked up in a van, didn't you? Yep. Yeah. yeah. In the limo ride back. So what's the story on the horn? Okay, so it's <laughs> going down the road. There's a bull in the road. Oh, wow. So there's a bull in the road, and we're face to face. And so it's bovine versus auto. Should have seen the other guy. I lost the horn, but <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit better than the truth. The truth is, these little construction signs they have those sand sandbags on them. One of them blew over. We had a storm Friday night and the wind was blowing like crazy. One of them blew over and hit the car. And it uh, scratched up the hood over here a whole bunch and hit the hit the horn. So uh, it's kind of a lame story though. I like the I like, yeah, the, I like the bull. bull. Yeah. Bull vibe versus auto. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, that wraps up tonight. Real quick overnight stay at the big texan rv ranch because we didn't get here till 7 30 p.m at eight o'clock we got picked up by the van to take us out to the big texan restaurant ate there pretty good i see why it's a touristy spot they're doing good things over there I'm not mad at it and we're leaving at like 9 a.m so we don't have a chance to try the indoor pool or any amenities or anything like that because tomorrow we're heading to tulsa to meet up with my brother so you know like i said real quick trip it is what it is We'll just check y'all out tomorrow. Peace.